Welcome to Vintage Variety. Today I'm going to show you guys my most recent jewelry and clothing haul. I'm going to start off with the jewelry haul and as usual here now lately, it is a small haul, but I did get some really interesting pieces. One of them is signed and one of them is 925. One thing that I have noticed that didn't happen as often in the past is that thrift stores are really checking those items now. They're checking jewelry for gold content and silver content. So I did pay a little bit more for the 925 piece, but I think it is a really great item. I do feel like it was a reasonable price on this piece, and this is the piece I'm talking about. This is a ring. It almost has a Celtic look to the outside of it. It is a large size. I believe it's a men's ring. And from the looks of it, this is really dirty. I thought perhaps it was enameled, but I don't think so. I think that this is just dirt, so I'm going to have to clean this one. can pretty much see all the dirt that's come out of this ring. Here's the marking on the inside of it, 925, and just lots of debris. It almost looks as though someone had dug it out of garbage or something. So there's the marking on it. I'll try to get it cleaned up before the end of the video, and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. I picked up this really interesting necklace today, and I'm not sure, I don't know if this is a handmade piece. The stone or the pendant on this is really heavy. It looks like stone, it feels cold, or it's kind of cold, kind of like glass, it's not plastic. So those of you that are really good at recognizing different types of stones, let me know what you think in the comment if you think this is a stone and what kind of stone it is. At this point, I am leaning more towards it being a stone. I really liked the look of this. It's a really nice, substantial size. And I'm almost wondering if maybe this is some kind of a handmade pendant, just by the way the wire is put through the actual cabochon. The chain on this is really nice. It's got a really good luster to it. And it kind of makes me wonder if maybe it is gold or gold plated. I don't see any markings anywhere on it, so I will have to test this one, but I thought this was a really good piece to run across today. Here's a better look at this necklace on the form, and I really like this one. You can see by looking at the front of it how it has a wire piece that goes through the stone and the chain is attached on both sides. That is wire wrapped. So it looks like someone has made this out of wire. Not sure if it is a handmade piece or if perhaps it was sold like this in a retail store. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. What's your opinion on this one? Another item that I picked up today was this enameled bracelet. I really like the design of this, how it looks like it's got a chain wrapped around it. This one is a very well-made bracelet, very weighty, a good, nice-sized piece. This will fit a bigger wrist. I know, for me, I have kind of wide hands, and a lot of times, if these bracelets aren't larger, they're hard for me to get over my hands. This one is also in very good condition. I really don't see any damage to the enameling on it. The last jewelry item that I picked up today was this necklace, and at first, it, I was kind of skeptical about it because I thought the stones were going to be plastic. However, I did check them, and they're not. This is set with glass stones. They are not prong set. They're glued in. This one also has a fold-over closure. It's a pretty well-made piece of jewelry. It's not marked on the closure, and I didn't notice any markings on it until I got it home. And here you can see the marking on this one. I'm not really familiar with this maker's mark. So if any of you guys have ran across something with this mark and you know what it is, let me know in the comments. I would be really interested in knowing who the maker of this beautiful necklace is. 
And for those of you, if this mark's not coming in clear, it is MT with a copyright mark in front of the M. Here is a closer look at this necklace on the form, and I think this is just a really pretty statement piece. Oops, it looks like I've already dropped a stone out of it. Hopefully, I will be able to find that and glue it back in. If not, I'm probably just going to have to find a replacement stone for it. Now that I've shown you the jewelry haul for today, I'm also going to show you the clothing and shoes that I thrifted. I found a lot of really nice items, some great shoes, quite a few of them designer. In fact, I think all of them are. Most of these items will be listed in my eBay store for resale. So let's get started and go through all of the items that I found in the clothing department. This is a shirt by Under Armour. It is a 2XL. I've never purchased Under Armour items before to sell in my store. At least I don't think I have. So I'm not really sure how well this one will sell. I'm thinking that this is more of a compression shirt, mainly because it's awfully small. It looks more like a large than a 2XL. But I decided to go ahead and pick it up anyway. It was a good price, and I'll see if this one sells for me. I also picked up this Alfred Dunner blouse, and to me, this looks more like something that will probably sell better around Christmas time. This one has three quarter inch sleeves. It has this really pretty black lace detail. You can see it has black embroidery and it has tiny sequins set into it. This one is a size 2X. I'm going to list this and keep my fingers crossed it will sell. If not, it will probably sell better for me around Christmas time. I thought this was a beautiful blouse to wear during the summertime. It is semi-sheer. I believe the bodice has more of a lining in it and the sleeves are sheer. It's a really soft cream color. I love the blue embroidered detail around the sleeves and the neck. So it's kind of boho style. This one is by Parsley and Sage, and it is an extra large. Another Alfred Dunner blouse that I picked up, and I think Alfred Dunner has some really nice clothing. This one is a black sequin short sleeve blouse, and you can see the details here on it. It looks like the fabric is kind of lined with these little lacy pieces. So I thought that was kind of neat. Black is a color that you can wear with anything, and this one is a size 2X. I also picked up this sage colored blouse by Knox and Rose. The fabric on this blouse is just really buttery soft and it's made to look slightly faded. This is more of a wintertime top or maybe for fall it has these really long bell sleeves. This blouse is a size large, and I think it's meant to be more like a tunic type blouse. So this would look good with either a pair of jeans or leggings. I'm going to list this one, and if it doesn't sell, it'll probably sell later in the year when it's cooler weather. This is a really lightweight, kind of semi-sheer blouse by New Directions. It is blue and white striped. I really like the fabric on this. It has three quarter length bell sleeves that flare out. And I like the lace detail that they've put on the sleeves right here. This blouse also has the same detail around the neck. And it's kind of interesting the way this is made. It kind of looks pleated in the front and those pleats fold back. So you could probably wear this blouse a couple of different ways. The open part in the front, that could be tied together for a completely different look. And I believe that this blouse was an extra large. I picked up this dress because I thought it was really pretty. I liked the color and I liked the way it was made. This one is a size 12, it's by Karen Stevens, and I love the zipper detail on the pockets. It has cap sleeves. So this would be a great dress to wear during the summertime, just as it is or it could also be worn in fall and winter with a blouse under it, mainly because the fabric is kind of medium weight, so I think it would be a great dress for any time of the year. 
This top I'm kind of iffy about. It's very unusual. It's by a brand called Carrie Blue. It's a large, but I believe that it's kind of oversized. So the middle or front of the top is made out of a stretchy material and the back and the sides is made out of a different material that's kind of pleated and flares out a little bit. So this would probably fit up to an extra, extra large just looking at it. It has three quarter length sleeves. Didn't spend a lot of money on this one. I got this one off the $1 or last chance rack. And I thought, you know, it's just a dollar. If it doesn't sell, I can always redonate it. But I don't really see anything wrong with this top. I mean, it's a black top. It would go with just about anything. So I'm going to go ahead and list it and see if it sells. This top is by Torrid. It is a Torrid size 2. It has 3 quarter length sleeves. And it's kind of made out of a t-shirt material with the exception of the bottom. It does have pocket detail. And then here at the bottom, it has kind of this sheer material and it's kind of ruffled. So I think this one is going to be more along the lines of a tunic. I've had a lot of success selling this brand in my eBay store. And I'm hoping that this one's going to sell. I think this one would be a really great top to wear in the summer. It could be worn with just about anything. And what I really like about their clothing is most of their t-shirts that I run across are just really buttery soft. Now for the shoes that I found today, and I found some really great shoes. These are a size nine Michael Kors wedge heel sandal. And they look as, hard, as though they've hardly ever been worn. They're very clean on the inside. The only thing I noticed was on the bottom, there's some type of residue. My guess is that at some time or the other, someone stepped into some chewing gum. But other than that, these are in really good condition. And I love the design on the side, how it looks like a cork on the wedge heel of this shoe. I've had a lot of success selling Michael Kors shoes in my eBay store. So I certainly did not want to pass up these sandals, especially when they're in such excellent condition. Another really nice pair of shoes that I picked up today were these pumps by Al Fanny. And hopefully I'm saying the name right. If I'm not, you guys can let me know in the comments. I do know that this is a brand that is sold at Macy's. Very good quality. They are leather uppers. They are pointy toed and they have cushioning on the inside. So I think these would be really comfortable. They are a nine and a half. The only thing I saw wrong with these is there's a little bit of scuffing on the toes of them. Not really noticeable. It could always be touched up with a little bit of shoe polish. So really nice shoes. I doubt that they were worn more than a couple of times. You can tell by the bottom, they're very clean. The bottoms aren't worn. And I love the heel on these. I love the wood detail. The last pair of shoes that I picked up today was another pair of Michael Kors. And these are really pretty shoes, guys. They have more of what you would call an almond toe. They're open-toed. And I like the details on these. They do have the Michael Kors logo on the side. And then on the back, just for extra comfort, it does stretch. So it has this piece of elastic in here. These are patent leather. And I would say out of the three pairs of shoes that I picked up today, these are in excellent condition, but they're still in good used condition. And by that, I mean the inside's still very clean. The outside of them looks really good, but the only thing I noticed was on the bottom, you can see that there's some wear, but not anything to fret over, I guess. They're still in excellent condition. The heels look really good on these. These are a size nine Michael Kors, and I think these look great. I really wish they would fit me. I would probably keep them if they did. That concludes my haul for today. You guys let me know which items were your favorites in the comments. If you enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Ring the bell for notifications. That way you will be notified anytime I upload new content. Thank you for taking time out of your day to share these items with me. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.